there are three types of Christians. Two of them are immature and do not have fellowship with God. But one has maturity and adulthood, and they have fellowship. This is explained in 1 John 1, 5 to 10. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Now from that passage, the first type of Christian is mentioned in verse 6. People say they have fellowship with God, but then continue living in sin. Now, living in sin does not mean you are struggling with sin. If you are struggling and fighting against sin, you can still have fellowship with God. It is those people who sin and know they are living in it and do not fight against it and just continue living in it. They say that they will have fellowship with God because they have their salvation and it doesn't matter what they do. They can still continue to live in the sin and in this the world that they live in. That type of Christian is a liar and they do not have fellowship. Living in darkness can be likened to finding shelter in a cave in a rainstorm. The cave is dark, but it is also cold. So you need to light a fire to warm yourself up. You light that fire and suddenly the entire cave is lit up. What you see are poisonous spiders, snakes, scorpions, and all sorts of manner of things that can kill you in one bite. Would you stay there? Would you leave? Living in darkness is living with full knowledge of the light being there and knowing, seeing all the things around that can hurt you, but still staying there and not running from it. Not having that desire to run away from it. And that is like the Christian who who walks in darkness and does not walk in light and does not practice truth. If we walk in the light and we run away from the things that are sinful, then you will have fellowship with other Christians and you'll have fellowship with God. The second type of Christian are those that think that they can elevate themselves to God's status. They believe that they have no sin and those are the ones that deceive themselves. There is no truth in them. They think that there is nothing they do anymore that is sin. And anything they do is just a mistake or is just, is just something that they can hand wave away and say, yeah, I, it's okay, I am perfect, I have the spirit in me. I am perfect, I cannot sin anymore. And these people deceive themselves. And this is potentially even worse than, than the liar who says he, he walks in fellowship but, has no, but walks in darkness because the person who has no truth has no truth in him at all whereas the liar knows the truth but the one who says he has no sin does not even have the truth in him now there's a third type of christian and we need to all strive to be we need to confess our sins because when we do that god is faithful to us and he is just and he forgives us our sins and cleanses us from all unrighteousness now the word confess used here from the greek it means to say the same thing. And it's a very simple way to explain this. When we sin, God says, you have sinned. We need to say the same thing as God and say, I have sinned. And that is what it means to confess. To confess means to tell God you have sinned and to know that you have sinned. And to say the same thing and to know the same thing that God knows about you when you sin. That is what it means to confess. Fellowship with God can be summed up like this. A boy has done wrong in his family. He has sinned. He gets sent to his room from the dinner table and is told not to come back to the dinner table until he has apologized for his sin. So the father goes upstairs and he says, Son, are you sorry for what you've done? And the son says, I'm sorry because you say it's wrong. The father says that's not good enough. Goes back downstairs. 
Half hour later, he goes back up and says, Son, are you sorry for what you've done? The boy says, Dad, I am sorry for, for doing something that you and Mom say are wrong. It's not good enough. Father comes back downstairs. Soon enough, he hears his son crying and weeping upstairs. He goes upstairs. His son says, Dad, I know what I did was wrong and I am sorry. The father nods and says, Son, you are ready to come back. And to the dinner table they go. This is what fellowship with God is like. When you sin, when you don't confess it and, and ask for forgiveness, you cannot have fellowship with God until you have confessed. God has already forgiven you in the instantaneous moment when you sin, but you need to also realize that you have sinned because in that moment when you realize you have sinned, you will get closer to God and you will get closer to what Jesus was, which is what all Christians should strive for. So what kind of Christian are you?